Okay, the question everyone's been asking, why in the world do I put a ring on my auger bit? Don't start singing that song. Let's, let's get into this. So as you can tell, I've been getting this question quite a bit. Why in the world do I take my wedding band off and slide it onto an auger bit when I drill the holes? And quite simply, what this does is it tells me if the auger bit is level. If I'm pointing up, the ring comes back towards me. If I'm pointing down, it goes towards the bit and allows me to drill a visually level. Because when I'm looking down on it, I can see if I'm turned left or right, but I can't see if I'm up and down. The ring gives me that orientation, so I get to see both directions in that. A very simple, old trick, um, but one of these that's really surprising. So I want to show you some of the things that you can do with it and how you can make sure that this is actually working for you and not messing you up. Now for this, just about any wedding band will work, and I just use mine. It has a rounded inside, which makes it a little bit more accurate, um, but if it's flat inside, that will still work. Um, I know of some people who will actually go and get the, uh, the plumbing rings that you can put on PEX tubing. Um, those work fairly well. We want to slide it onto the shaft put it about halfway on this flat section here, put the tip into where we want, and then I'm gonna put the back of the brace into my gut, and this will allow me to adjust up and down. I can bend my knees and then adjust my ankle. So I'm gonna pick it what I think is about right and start cranking. And as I crank, if I'm up too high, it's gonna start working its way down here towards the bit. If I go down low, it's gonna start coming back here towards the, uh, the chuck. So let's set this on here, and I'm just gonna be adjusting it, keeping that right in the middle. Usually there's a logo here, and I'm trying to keep that ring on the logo. And just like that, I know I've drilled a really nice flat, straight hole. Now one of the problems with this is this only tells me if I'm level. It doesn't tell me if my jaw face is level. So if my jaw face is not level, if it's out of plumb, then the board will be out of plumb. And even though my drill is level and the board is out of plumb, that means my angle is going to be wrong. So that's one of the reasons why I actually keep my bench top level. And I also keep my jaw face 90 degrees to my bench top. That way I know if I'm drilling this way, I can trust that this is plumb and the top is level. Now, sometimes I need to drill this way. And with that, I don't have anything to set the stock against. I can't guarantee that the stock is gonna be vertical. But what I can do is if it's just a straight board, I'm going to grab it at the top and I'm gonna let gravity hang it. And that will let me know that the piece is plumb and vertical. And when I clamp it there, I know this piece is vertical. And when I put my drill bit into here, I know that my level this way is going to be at 90 degrees to where the board is being plumb. The other place where that's really valuable is what happens if I want to actually drill a hole at an angle. What I can do is grab my bevel gauge or whatever I have set to that angle. I can put the board at that angle. And now I know that if I'm drilling level, I'm going to be putting a hole through the board at that angle. So I don't have to keep an eye on watching the bevel. I can just make sure that my bit is level and I know that the board is at the angle I want to drill. So then if I want to make sure I'm right on and exactly accurate, I can do the plumb bob trick, but if that isn't quite what you're looking for, then you can put a square in here, lock the square in place, and because I know my bench top is level, I know that this will now also be level. So now when I put this into place, I can put it right into the hole I want. I put the ring halfway down the shank, and I can very easily see if I'm out of line this way because I have the jaw vise to line up with. I just make sure my bit is perfectly in line with the jaw vices, and then as I go, I know vertical because I can see the ring sliding one way or the other. And so with this, I know that my line is going to be perfectly level as well as true side to side, so I can get a perfectly square hole all the way through this. So to actually test this, I put a mark on this side of the board, then transfer the line all the way around to this spot here. So if I drill perfectly plumb and level, it should come out with the auger bit tip dead in the center of that axe. Next, I then used a square to square up this board to my bench top, and then we can grab our bit, put it in place, make sure the ring is exactly where we want it, eyeball it vertical, and let's go to town and see what we get. Keep checking for when it comes out. And let's see, how close are we? There you go. A little bit closer view of it. Doesn't get too much more accurate than that. That is smack dab on the dead center of that X. Just with eyeball and a ring. 
Now, I know a lot of people are going to be very hesitant about using their wedding band, or maybe you have some item on there that won't allow it to turn nicely. Um, I have a link down below to some cheap rings that you can actually get um, on Amazon, and we'll do the exact same thing. The reason I use my wedding band is it really doesn't hurt it at all, um, and it's there with me all the time. So anytime I need it, I can put it on there and then I'll put it back. Um, I don't lose it and I'm not hunting around. Where is that leveling ring? It's just right there and it makes it very easy and, and convenient for me. I know this is a really simple trick, but it's one of those things that once you understand it and you put it to use a few times, it becomes incredibly easy because you can do things perfectly by eye and not have to worry about being uh, having a drill press or doing anything just the way you want it. As long as you make sure that the hole you want to drill is level, now you can drill level and not have to think anything of it. And if you want to make an angle, then you put the board to the angle and you still drill level. And it makes it really easy and a lot of fun. So I hope this is a tip that you like. Um, if you do have any other thoughts, comments, or ideas on it, let me know down below. And if you do have any other tip or question you'd like me to do a video on this, let me know that as well. So I think that'll do it for today. I hope you like this. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Also think about becoming a patron on Patreon or supporting in one of the other ways. That really helps out the channel and thank you for that. So I think that'll do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Okay, you knew this joke was coming. That is precisely why everyone knows I love my auger bits.